Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. So today is an impromptu Tuesday. So yesterday I did two parts, my Monday stream, my usual time. I did two parts. I did a haul video where I showed some new books and things I got. And then in conjunction with those things, I did a part two, a little project in a um, little little traveler's notebook that I got at Michael's so we did this little little project based on some color charts and just playing in this well this part uploaded but the first part didn't so I'm gonna just go ahead and like start over <laughs> so I'll show hey Jen so I'm gonna show a little bit of what I got yesterday that did that video did not upload and then we'll do something but in the meantime I wanted to show that uh, I have been working on my, I don't know how to pronounce this, let me, let me see the exact translation that Tracy said it says, Land of Dreams, Land of Dreams by Tomislav Tomic, and this is the page I've been working in, and I'm getting there, this is probably going on, it's over four hours worth of work now. Uh, I still have to do all the animals there except for the unicorn. I do have the unicorn shaded but not his hair. And I'm going to do the horn in gold. Hey, Button. Anybody else popping in? Jen. <clears throat> everybody else I said hi to before I hit record. So thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Hey, Dot. So I am, I'm working on shading all the trees. And uh, so I still have to do the animals, the little girl and anyway so this is the progress i've made on it so far like i said that's probably about four hours worth of work on that because it's a lot of tiny leaves and stuff <laughs> thanks guys so that's that's the progress in this so yesterday i showed a couple books that i got again that video did not upload so i'm going to re-show some of the stuff I got these two books on clearance at Hobby Lobby, uh, Fairies and Colored Pencil. This is a Walter Foster book, and there's like three different artists that contributed to this one. And then Botanical Sketchbook, uh, which is what we got some inspiration out of to work in the little, uh, this is the Recollection brand, Michael's brand, tra faux leather travelers. So I'll just tell you what I've done to this one so far. Um, so I had a 50% off coupon, so the, the book itself, which comes with two inserts and the uh, cover, this did not come with it, that's just a little Jane Davenport charm from another something that I got. And uh, so it's, with the two inserts and the cover, it was like, it's like $10, but I had a 50% off coupon, so I got it for 5 bucks. Then I got two more inserts and I added those. And I also picked up the Jane Davenport little plastic sleeves. That was separate, of course, because this is not this is not a Jane Davenport. She has her own line of uh, little travelers uh, notebooks. <clears throat> but I, it, you know, they have her girls on them and everything. I like this one because it was just plain faux leather. <coughs> So I got the little sleeves, which are, are like a clear plastic. And because these inserts are brown, it kind of dulled down these. So I put a piece of white cardstock behind each one. And because they're double-sized, you got pockets on both sides. So that came with four of them, that one and this one. Then this pink one. And then this blue teal one. And again, I put my own white card stock behind it because these inserts are craft paper, which I like. So, um, so that is what I got at Michael's, along with the little charm with that came with some bands. This was something separate, but I just stuck it on here. All right, so backing up. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Thanks, Happy. So these are the two uh, uh, travelers that I use now, um, and they're faux. You know, they're like a, like a Midori type 
travelers, whatever you want to call them, size. I think it's four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, something like that. Anyway, these were made by Camp Scrappy Camper Sister Jonna. Uh, sister, I call her Sister Woman, and she made these a couple years ago. I don't know that she's still... Um, hey, Jennifer Crackalackin. And Jane, I think I said hi to Jen. Anybody else I miss? Thanks, everybody, for popping in. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is a live show on Ustream with the live chat. It will be chatty. <laughs> so anyway, um, this one I just redid, and I made all my own. So you don't have to buy their, the, their inserts. You can just make your own. I just made my own with, uh, this is just... Um, uh, you know, cardstock weight scrapbook paper made my own inserts. So, yeah, this one, this one, there's the next one, this one, pineapple and flamingo. Where's Eileen? <laughs> this one, and you just put them in with band elastic. You can you can get elastic elastic thread elastic cording you can get that at the craft store sometimes it's in the jewelry department sometimes it's or and or both in the uh, sewing department and uh, you've got 50 percent off the sleeves yeah Kimmy Poo and then this so that I just redid this one and made it all neat and everything anyway this is my um, this was my idea. I have tons of idea notebooks. This is my little sock monkey one. I love my sock monkeys. Anyway, um, I had redone this before I'd gone to Michael's and I saw this. So I just went ahead and picked this up because I could get it for five bucks. This is the one that I've been using all the time. This is kind of like my everything. Now, I'm a, I don't do planners. I don't do... Um, I mean, I have planners and dated things, but I, I'll put people's birthdays or things that I um, stream uh, topics or stuff like that. But I don't write down everything I do in a day. Nothing wrong with that if you like to do that. So none of my, none of my uh, Traveler's Midori faux dories have calendars in them. This is the one I use all the time. I have a whole bunch of handmade little, um, let me show you one paper clips with I don't want to lose my place so I want to put it back on here um, <clears throat> with some sari silk like saris as in S-A-R-I not sorry <laughs> yeah I've got some I got a bunch of sock monkey stickers button and uh, so I just get these little uh, colored paper clips you know I got these I got a box of them at Walmart I think 150 and um, and just tie on some sari silk ribbon. You can just tie on anything there, and uh, <clears throat> put that back on where I don't want to lose my place there. So that's what all these are are just little paper clips. And uh, so this is the one that I use all the all the time. I have a few charms on it. This is where this is the string that I. Uh, I just braided the tails of it, but that's what's holding them all in, and it's kind of a hot mess. There's my strings at the top, but there it's holding all my um, signatures in, and then I have a couple little charms on the end of it. So these are the different books, idea books, and things that I work in currently. I also use this one. This one. <laughs> Again, this the cover was a had a journal in it that I got at. Um, it comes like this, it goes this way. It had a, a journal in it. I got this at uh, Barnes and Nobles years ago. Well, I since took the the journal out, which was probably only about this big, and used the leather to. And it doesn't really go all the way around. What? Because I don't really use this flap, so I just kind of tuck this flap in the back, and I use the cord as a bookmark in wherever section that I'm working in and what this one is uh, a couple years ago flow magazine had let me find one of the covers here had a um, had a bunch of different little flow weeklies and things like this that they came out with and they were selling them like in packs of three at the bookstore 
and I think they had three or four different sets. So I was buying those up a couple years ago. So and they have all kinds of little ideas and prompts to do and things like that in them. Well, that this is what I I'm using. This there's no real art in this one. This is kind of what I'm using now for journaling, like writing type things, where I usually use the uh, Moleskinas for journaling and writing because I really don't art journal in the sense where I combine the two I mean I might do art journal with a couple of you know a word a sentence or something like that but I really don't art journal where I'm journaling and arting on the same thing um, <clears throat> so this this is where I'm journaling there's really no art in this, <clears throat> although I might stick a sticker or something like that. But it's uh, it's different than my other books that I've shown you. Um, yeah. So. So there's that, and I just put a. Uh, I just put a, one of these smash bands around. I like these smash bands because they have, the, the. Uh, pen holders there's like six pen or pencil holders on them and so yeah <clears throat> so there's that so the books that I got yesterday let me kind of show them again because like I said that part didn't um, didn't upload <clears throat> so the first one was the fairies in color pencil and the three artists, let's see back here in the back, I said them yesterday, Lindsay Archer, Sarah Burrier, and Cynthia Knox. And what they did is just color pencils and, you know, fairies and color pencils. So, yeah, we'll just kind of do a little flip through. And she talks about different supplies and all the basics, some basic shading and things like that. And then they just get into the different kinds, the different kinds of fairies. And some, you know, little, th how to draw eyes, wings, faces, and some, you know, very basic uh, drawing. <clears throat> and then at the back, if you're afraid you won't be able to draw these, at the back they give you about five or six of these in template form so that you can practice them. And they give you the colors that they used, that the artist used. Hey, Janet. <coughs> yeah, um, I was telling the girls that uh, my part one from yesterday won't upload to YouTube. Part two uploaded, but part two went with part one. So I'm not putting anything up from yesterday. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a impromptu today to have something to put up for today. So I'm just re-showing the books that I showed yesterday that I got at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. So like this one was $7 and the other one was 6 So you can see the different ones that they show you here. And again, at the very back... There's a whole lot of them. At the very back, they give you some templates. Let me get to that here. So they give you some very, um, very basic outlines if you want to try to uh, copy what they've done, practice it, you know. So they give you five or six in the back. So again, that is... <laughs> Janet, you're so funny. Let me take a sip of coffee here, guys. Okay, so then the other one that I got, the Botanical Sketchbook, <clears throat> which is the one that we used to do some inspiration in the Little Travelers yesterday. And uh, we got the color combinations from design-seeds.com, and they have different color combinations. So we just used that as the inspiration and then some like little sketchy stuff, a uh, little plant inspiration from like these. So <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Janet would actually <laughs> prefer that. 
<laughs> uh, and thanks everybody for being here. Hey, Kenny, who else is here? I've got a bunch of people popped in since uh, after I hit record. So thanks everybody. I, ha I have to click over because they, they, we can't see them both at the same time anymore. With the new chat format. Hi, Denise. Annabelle. I know I said hi to most of you guys before I hit record. So thanks for being here. If y'all have any questions for me or want to say something to me, put it in caps. So I know you're talking to me because chat sometimes rolls by fast and I don't know if you're talking to me. So thanks guys. So in the botanical, this one is by Mary Ann Scott. And this one came out uh, first published in the UK in 2010. And then this paperback, ver paperback version, soft cover, uh, was published in 2014. And it's just, I love botanicals. I love botanical drawings. Uh, and I showed another book yesterday, one of my favorite uh, botanical book. So it just does different things. Like here's assignment number four, a single flower study. Give you little um, color studies, color studies throughout. Assignment five, fruit. And this is all done in um, watercolor. I'm pretty sure it's all in watercolor. <clears throat> so it's a very cool book if, you, if you're interested in any kind of botanical drawings. You like botanicals too, Rebecca? Yeah. And then here's working from photographs. So you can see it's very it's very practical too in the sense that there's color studies, sketches, lots of little notes. So yeah, there's a lot of information. Some different color charts and things in the back. So botanical sketchbook again. I got it at Hobby Lobby for six and six dollars and change in the in some clearance books. So, yeah, yeah, and and you know I'm sure you can get them deals on Amazon as well. <coughs> so there's that. Then the other thing that I showed yesterday, oh, I, I did show this. Again, I'm having to reshow because this part would not upload to YouTube, uh, part one of the two. So I got the Tim Holtz ideology, they're calling them paper dolls, but they're like little, little people. And there's like 107 of them. Let me just pull out a handful here. Little people and dogs, and they're all in different sizes. And they're all in sepia tone. I did color one little girl's dress there. But there's just all kinds of little people. And they're on heavy cardstock. Heavy cardstock. So, yeah. All different little people that you can use in your art journaling. Or cards or tags. Or whatever you know you want to use them on and they're all in different sizes and they do repeat they have a whole bunch of little dogs in here too I don't know if I pulled out any of the little dogs but anyway they're, they're I think they'll be fun to use on art journals or tags I just put them in a baggie because it's easier to it's easier to get them in and out of this bag than the packaging so yeah I got that. Here's one of the little dogs. <laughs> They're so cute. I know. And I got a few other things. I got some star gel pens. Um, a, a pack of those. I already threw the packaging away. But I got a set of the uh, star gel. Where's the, did I keep the little? Ah, here we go. I kept the little card. So these are like glitter gel pens, and they're real, real glittery. There you go. You can see it right there. See how glittery, glittery that is? They're very glittery. These are awesome to use in color books because they're fine point. You know, they're a pen, and yet they're glitter. And I don't know that you can see the different colors, but they're so 
shiny and glittery. So I got a set of six. I already had a few. But I got a set of six colors in a pack. And that's why I use my 50% off coupon or 40% coupon off at Hobby Lobby for that. So what's everybody else working on? Let me readjust my fan here. What's everybody else? Oh, we lost a little girl here. Let's put her back in the pack. What's everybody else working on? Yeah, glitter. I know, Jen, right? Glitter. <laughs> they are they are the best. Really, if you want a glitter pen, these are the best. And they're called um, Star, not Star, not Star Gel. Let's see if I've got the package still in the trash. Uh, yeah, here, Star Dust. They're Star Dust pins and it came with six six of them I think in a pack yeah six different colors and they have you can tell that uh, them apart from other jelly roll pins because they have a little star on the cap see the little star right well there's a little star shooting star on the cap that's how you can tell that they're the glitter ones yeah so oh and I also picked up the Jane Davenport pad for 50% off and I did show this yesterday too it's got her little girls and just all kinds of painty collagey type paper like y'all know I needed some new paper <laughs> You have every color of the star gels. Yeah. <laughs> Jen. Oh, so there we go. So I got that. Um, so the other thing I showed, uh, I think before, I don't know, did I have a hit record? This I showed y'all this. I did, uh, I'm still working on this. I'm still working on this uh, pa double page spread. So we'll, I think, I, like I said, I think I got a little over four hours into this. And so, anyway. So, um, what else did I show yesterday that we missed? Oh. <clears throat> so if you like the format of these Travelers Midori type, faux Dory, whatever you want to call them, but it's not much space. Take you a sketchbook, like a spiral sketchbook. I'll show you what I did with mine. And I like the Canson Mixed Media, the blue cover ones. So if you could take a, a larger sketchbook, this is what I did with this one. I take the spirals out and I put in book rings because then you have more space. And I showed my rings yesterday too that are bigger. So you can even make this expand more. <coughs> I think this is a 9 by 12. You can, here, let me show you the comparison. And the size there. Okay. And what I did is I folded every page in the, in the, germ, in the uh, sketchbook. Well, mixed media sketchbook. I folded every page. And so you have that tall format which a lot of people like, but you got more room. You got more real estate to work in. And you can also then open these up and work on the, a full page. You can also fold them the other way if you'd rather have the, the, the book lay like here's a cover like of the, pit, of the piece and then open it this way. It doesn't matter whichever way you want to fold it, fold it toward the middle or fold it toward the back. But what's nice about this is then when you want to work on this, you can just fold everything back, right, and just flatten out the page that you want to work on. So you still have a flat page, and everything else is just folded back. So that's one of the nice things about a, a take despiraling, and it doesn't have to be this size, it can be any size. But you despiral and put these book rings in, so that way it has room to expand, you know. And I just covered mine with a, a piece of uh, scrapbook 
cardstock just to have it uh, decorative instead of the blue cover and then I just cut the covers with a craft knife and a and a metal ruler and cut the back and the front and so now it's just kind of a tall sketchbook or whatever you want to do with it right so so what are y'all what are y'all working on today I mean, and again, I know y'all probably aren't working on anything right this minute because I this is early. Y'all know I stream early. I'm trying to see what other um, anything else I showed yesterday to get caught up on. So I know there's a lag. I'll wait. <clears throat> I'll take a sip of coffee. I really need to go get some hot coffee. My coffee's cold. So, I'm going to go run and get some hot coffee while y'all type in what y'all are working on. So, I'll be right back. Hang on. If you're watching the recording, just fast forward. I'll be right back. <coughs> Let's see what everybody's working on. Hey, Lucia. Kenny's working on Myth Morphia, Daydreams, and Land of Dreams. Hey, Pam. Are you enjoying your vacation? You are trying to master your silhouette. I have a couple videos on it, but not really on how to use it. There's tons of videos on YouTube, uh, Rebecca. You'll love it. I love my, um, I love my uh, cameo silhouette. Practicing watercolor, Jane. Judy Patootie's practicing with ink tints. Okay, is, it, is doing working with watercolors. Yay, everybody. Enjoying your vacay, Pam. Links are not open, guys. If you want to post something, you have to uh, get permission or ask Janet to open links for you. Button stitching. So, yeah, speaking, all right, I'll do this. Let me pull this out here. Hang on. Let me get this out. Since Rebecca is working on her cameo, let's get this out. I'll show you some of the things I've cut. If you want to see some of the different things, and I usually pull a lot of this out at Halloween. So how I keep my die cuts, the cuts themselves. I have this old technique. I need to back up the camera because we're really zoomed in. Hang on a little bit. There we go. So um, I have this old Technique Tuesday stamp binder. But instead of putting stamps in it, because I, I don't do well with stamps and binders. I have to stack up my stamps, my acrylic stamps or demounted, unmounted wood stamps in a box so I can flip through them. So 
I don't use this for stamps. What I use it for is um, my die cuts. So I just put in, you know, plastic, plastic sleeves, you know, uh, page protectors. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way here. And here is some of the let's see, extra sleeves. So I just keep them. Like here's one. And these are some of these are quite old. Y'all remember when we did the glitter feathers? This is just the one I kept. I gave them all away. So this is not only is it die cut, but it's embossed with the embossing folder and it's got some excess paint on there but it's got glitter so we do all kinds of things like this this is just the one I kept because like, like I said I gave the rest away and also don't forget Rebecca or anybody that if you keep the negative space that it's I'll just give you all some cameo tips that you know <laughs> I'll tell you tip number one is make sure you put your paper on the sticky mat before you try to roll it through <laughs> I tried that one day. I was seriously, guys. I, 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 my paper would not roll through. I'd hit the, it, you know, I'd hit the upload button, and the paper was not going through. Well, it's because I forgot to put it on the mat. I was just trying. That shows I don't use it enough. That's why. Uh, I was trying to just get the paper to roll through without putting it on the sticky mat. <laughs> anyway, so a couple tips. One is keep your negative space for stencils so here I cut out a bunch of feathers right and I kept the the this for stencil <laughs> I know right yeah I use the mat Carrie is the one that caught it I said I can't understand why this paper will not upload I was hitting the button upload upload D you know turn it off turn it on would not upload and Carrie said isn't that supposed to be on a mat <laughs> Yes, yes, it's supposed to be on a mat. The other tip I'll tell you is use white cardstock because then you can color your cutout any color you want. Nothing wrong with using colors. Don't get me wrong. You do that too. But if you cut things out on white cardstock, you can color them. The cameo silhouette, Kiki. Um, you can color them any color you want. So it's really versatile to cut out on white paper. <laughs> so you can see almost everything I cut out is white. And I got all kinds of letters. And this is just stuff that I've had left over, you know, and bits. And, you know, we've, and you can jelly plate. We've, I, I have a video up where we jelly plated the bits. Now, I don't know that this one is. But you can jelly plate your um, cutouts. And here's the negative space. So, don't forget that you can use the positive and the negative spaces. Here's some birds. Just some, uh, a little birdie told me. This one has, uh, um, it tore the L, but I just want you all to see the different kind of things that you can do with them. And here's another fella. This one we did, I think we did jelly plate this one or we smack and dragged it. So here is, here's a peacock feather. Let's put it right there. You can see. Here's the inside of it too. So you could do, you know. So you can uh, smack and drag them in ink or jelly plate them. Here's some little feathers. Those little feathers that you saw on that uh, negative space in silver and black shimmer. So these are always good for, you know, we use, y'all know how many things of uh, cut out die cuts. I mean, um, what do you call it? Uh, bits, you know, faux femora and all that. <clears throat> Let me show you this. Here's just one of my trays. One of my trays of all kinds of this. You know, card pieces, you know. I mean, this thing is like, look how thick this is. 
and uh, so I have trays and trays and boxes of this stuff, mostly from back when I was scrapbooking. But you use this stuff. You can use this stuff now in your in your art journals, your Midoris, your faux dories. But when you have you have your cameo, you can color and make your own. You know, different uh, designs. Here's a one there. These are just some of my extra ones. Most of them I give away. I give away a lot of them when I cut out, you know, a hundred. Well, I don't ever cut out a hundred. However many will fit on a page at a time. Because you can, um, uh, the other thing, and I'm sure you'll, you ha if you haven't figured this out already, um, Rebecca, is you can put your design, put your design on your grid. It looks kind of like a Photoshop grid when you go into the software of the uh, silhouette <clears throat> you it looks like it kind of like a Photoshop out you know um, layout with the tools all around it and everything well it, it the your format looks like a grid on the software so when you put things in and you can expand these or make them tiny you can make your images any size you want you can make them as tiny as you want or as 12 by 12 or you can even actually do 12 by and get rolls of paper so you can make banners and things. I don't do that, but um, anyway, so you can make them any size you want. But not only that, you can right click and duplicate, and then duplicate uh, and fill your whole page, fill your whole cardstock uh, sheet with or, or your software, which prints out whatever you see on the software, um, and fill the whole thing so you're not wasting paper. So if I just need, like, say, three birds, I'll print out 12 birds. And so I always have leftovers, and then, you know, I end up giving those away. Again, you know, you can print them in white and then jelly print them. Um, just smack and drag through the ink. I'll just pull out, let me just do a couple here. I'll find a couple to uh, smack and drag. They have different ones that are... Like this one is a Zentangle. They have Zentangle, birds, hearts. All, I mean, literally, guys, if you have not ever gone, you can go to the Silhouette store, I think, and just look without being a member, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I'm, I'm not probably exaggerating when I say they have a million <laughs> designs. Uh, hundreds of thousands of designs. Yeah, so yeah, fill your whole page, uh, Rebecca. Now, I'm not an expert on it. You know, I've just, you know, learned from a few videos and just people that I know that have had one and trial and error. Uh, like I said, <laughs> you know, don't ask me too many questions because I'm the one that forgot to put the paper on the sticky mat. I will tell you this, Rebecca, too. Um, the Cameo mat is very, very sticky. I use... I use the Cricut mat. The Cricut low tack, what's it called? Light grip. It's called light grip. I use this one and it works just fine in the silhouette. Um, and it's low tack. So you're not, when you peel off, like let's say I cut something out of this, and when you peel off all these little tiny bits, you know, and stuff like that, it's just, I like the light grip. And uh, that's just, you know, that's just me. Um, okay, so let's let's pick out a few of these that I have a couple of. And we'll do some uh, dragging through some ink. And I've used a lot of these. Here's a bunch more feathers. Maybe we'll do a few feathers here. Let's pull some of those out. I'm just going to pull some out and we'll do some. Maybe we could do some magicals. <gasps> What do you think, Janet? Should we use some magicals? Yeah, you do too, Jennifer. You use the low light grip cricket mat. Yeah. So again, the negative spaces. Here's the negative of a feather. And then you can back it. I cut the negative out around the edge here. So there was the feather that I did. And then I just mounted it on a piece of decorative paper. And then you could cut this out too. I didn't do that because this is one of our samples. Um, and then you could cut it out here 
and see how pretty that is and again you can use this stuff in your journals your planners you know whatever here's where we this one was a, a smack and dragon where we spray the ink and just smack and drag that's what I call smack and dragon uh, and drag it through the ink so there's this butterfly that just has ink so here's the benefit of using white cardstock which is what I, I love doing. Here's some little leaves and some vines. <coughs> These are some uh, photo corners. Again, you can use the negative space for stencils. These are all just different ones. Camera here. All Any kind of word. This is one of my favorite ones. I don't think you can get this... Oh, this page is upside down. Hang on. I don't think that you can... This one I bought off of two peas back in the day. I don't think this particular one is a cameo design. But I love this design. I want to show this to you. Just to sh I, I do this to... I kept this one to show you the delicacy of the cameo cutout. Look at this. This is cut out on your cameo. This is how delicate and how how precise uh oh I got it all tangled up now this is how precise it cuts let's see if I can fix it <laughs> I got it in a hot mess now <laughs> there we go um, and look at that little bitty heart right there can you see that little heart this is how delicate that the cameo cuts just so you can see that's why I love this particular piece my dad my new mats with some fabric to reuse well the problem with doing that dot is if you dab your tacky thing with fabric is it can the fibers from the fabric can get on your mat and that can interfere with a cream a clean crisp cut you don't want any that's another thing Rebecca when you go to use your mat make sure there's no, no little bits left I use a metal um, I use a metal palette knife and I know you they sell um, palette knives that you can you know use from the company the cameo company sells little scrapers to clean your mat off of the little bits but I just use a metal palette knife and scrape it off but you want to make sure you get every bit of it off because then when you put your next piece of paper on the mat and go to cut it the the blade well, if it has to cut through that little piece of scrap left over on the mat, can interfere with a crisp cut. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the delicacy that you can get with that. Uh, the the blade is so precise. So I just have bits, and I don't even know what all I have in here. Uh, kept different uh, negative spaces and stens for stencils mostly. <clears throat> Uh, stained glass window, watches, clocks. Look at these speech bubbles. Let me show you this here. These little speech things here. So you get not just, you can get the speech bubble, but look. Look how delicate this is. <clears throat> look at that speech bubble. Isn't that cool? I know, I, I do too. I don't use it enough. Um, I should use it more because I really do love it. So you can see how thin that is. And that's why you want to keep them in something like this. Because you can't just stack them up. They'll get tangled easily because they're so delicate. If I put one of these on top of here, it's going to, you know, get messed up. So that's why it's a good idea to just keep them in sleeves like this. I do have a few that are stacked, but I know which one, you know, I can, I'm careful about what I stack so that they don't tear each other. Here's a car, a, a vintage like Woody pulling a camper, uh, planes, cameras, bunch of words, and you can cut them out on scrapbook paper, like uh, here's where I use some scrapbook paper to cut out. So you could use up all that scrapbook paper you have. <laughs> it cuts out just fine. And then you have already printed designs. 
So if you have scrapbook papers, you love the prints or colors or designs, use those to cut out your flowers, your leaves, your whatever. I mean, trust me, there is everything. <laughs> Any design you can imagine and word and fonts. And you can use your computer fonts. So <clears throat> here's some uh, a pumpkin. And I just put it on a piece of orange cardstock. I did some Halloween things. So I just glued this on to a piece of orange cardstock. Little word banners. Here's oh, here's some uh, owls. And I ran these through um, some silver paint. Like I drug them through or painted them. I don't remember what technique we used. But... Um, so you can see they're silver and then here's like an outline of thousands of designs literally there's another owl and again you can back these on top of let me just grab a piece of something here oh right, here here's my fractal calendar i use for so you can uh you can put like glue them glue it onto a piece of decorative paper like this and cut it out and then you have this owl with this paper design. See, isn't that cool? So you could cut that out right there. You could actually even use those wings as wings. That would be kind of cool too. So um, if you if you use black and white um, paper, there's, it's much more versatile. Or a scrapbook paper where it's already printed for you, so that you have decorative. Um, designs already on there but like this one is just that would be yeah so you could just like cut that out <laughs> kidding uh, and here's where I took some black feathers let's see if I can get one out here I took some black feathers with a silver pen and just doodled on it so see the little lines right there so just drew my own feathers on that one. There's just so many things you can do. And I'm I brought all this out because Rebecca just got her, so I have to like tell her things she can do with it. <clears throat> um Eileen cut these out of I don't know that it was a cameo. I don't remember what she cut. I think she just die cut these. And I kept a quite a few of them. I gave quite a few away. But you cut the little you, you layer so here is a skate then you have the the next layer and you just layer them up and then you can put a string in them Eileen made this set right here for me I need I'm gonna pull these well if I pull them out then I'm never gonna remember how to make them. <laughs> this is my sample and um, so Eileen made these and then there's ink and then thread to make look at those little cute ice skates Aren't those just so adorbs? And so it starts with the silver base. And then, uh, yeah, there's tons of different ones. Uh, die cut, uh, I mean, uh, uh, cut files where you can layer things. You can make boxes. Oh, there's just tons. So anyway, that's one of my Eileen things here. Oh, and then don't forget you can also... Um, this is not cut out, but it, I just kept a, an embossed card to show you that after you do your cutouts, you can also emboss them. Now, you can't, I would not recommend, I guess you, I don't know, I never tried. I wouldn't think you could. But after you've done the cutout, run it through your embossing folder. Like put it in between the sandwich of your embossing folders, whatever you cut out. And then it will emboss your die cuts so you can emboss them. Um, different snowflakes and all different kinds. Oh, here's a, this is one of the embossing folders that's a tree. Uh, and I know it's not showing because it's white, but it's a tree trunk um, design. I got, oh, tons. Oops, all falling out here. Let's see what I got in here. 
So these are cut out on scrapbook paper. I don't know if I did these or someone sent them to me. But these are cut out. That's a layered one. Let's see. Yeah. So these are two different scrapbook papers, layered, cut and layered. So just so much that you can do <clears throat> with it. <coughs> Let me get a sip of coffee, guys. And don't forget you can make your own stencils. So then here, oh, this is one of my all-time favorites. The World. <laughs> let me move this so you can, or let me just get a piece of, do I have a black piece of paper here? Mm, let me just grab a black piece of cardstock. Or a dark color off my shelf. Some brown, but it's just, it'll show up. So just to show you the delicacy of the cutout, look at this world. This globe. And there's a little piece still stuck in there. Hang on. This is what you can cut. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you can cut. Isn't that cool? All right, so what else do I have here? I have an owl. This is, this is a scrapbook paper. And it's like a wood grain scrapbook paper. And cut this giant owl again. <laughs> you can make these as small or this is like off of a 12 by 12. So there's so many. Missing New Zealand. Okay, I missed something there. Um, all different. Let me let me put this over here so I can use this to show you some of the things we've cut out. Leaves, gears, all kinds of gears. Uh, the coffee cups, tea cups. Here's one of my feathers that um, cut this out of a scrapbook paper just so you can see that's out of a scrapbook paper see how pretty that is here's some leaves cut out of cloud scrapbook paper cut out of a you know printed uh, and this the this is a good time place to use you know those stacks your stacks of uh, scrapbook paper that you probably don't know what to do with. Cut things out on your Cameo. See, all different kind of leaves. Oak leaves. Uh, this was a set, I think. And then here's some feathers cut out with um, a different scrapbook paper that has colors on them. See how pretty that is? What else is in here? little bird. Let me move this down just for some ideas Rebecca see here's the negative space of that bird there's a crow again old scrapbook paper yeah I know right here's like that feather right there Oh, what else do I have? More feathers. Here's some other coffee cups. And again, I've made these every anywhere from like a half inch to a full 12 by 12 piece of paper. Uh, let's see what I can do. I don't want to really mix it in with that world. Oh, <laughs> let me get another piece of paper so I can... I'm just reaching up here for a piece of cardstock on my shelf get a dark color. I don't have any black up here. Where's my black part? Well, here's a gray. Ah, here's purple or something. Just something dark. <clears throat> I love this one. This is one of my... <laughs> whoops, sorry. The Mummy. <laughs> uh, you like everything I'm showing? <laughs> I know that Kiki I know Kiki said she's quit her job to do everything she wants to do that's why you don't see me pull the cameo out very often it's because there's so many things that we all do <laughs> I know the mummy there's another mummy um, so here's some of the little teacups here's some leaves and again I cut them out oh here look at this one I cut this leaf out of a leaf paper <laughs> 
huh? But in general, I like to just cut things out on white um, because you can, you can, they're so uh, versatile. You can, you know, change them. Oh, and also the other thing is if you cut them out in white, they're reversible. So, um, like, you know, like here's the mummy here. See, it, you can reverse it. So, uh, with white paper, you can use either side. Um, here's a little haunted house uh, cut out with little crow and a pumpkin, a haunted house, and bats, a little spider. And again, it's reversible because it's on white paper or black. I cut a lot of Halloween stuff out in black, so I'll show you some of that too. Here's another one of those. Lots of little leaves and cups in this little batch. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, let me show you some other leaves here. And you can buy these. A lot of times they'll come like four different designs in a set. Like you might get this leaf, that leaf, this leaf, all in one set. And everything, guys, they always have sales too. But for the most part, everything is 99 cents or under. So you could get four leaves for 99 cents. And, and remember... You can cut these out any size you want, on any paper you want. So, and you keep them forever. They don't go away. You have, you have a complete fo fold file. And you can put them all in folders. I have my folders divided out in nature and travel and, you know, I ha Halloween, holidays. I have all folders for every design. You know, I mean, every uh, theme. I have folders for them. So you can organize them all, just like you would any other, you know, things that you have uh, purchased design or print-wise. They also have where you can color and cut. I haven't done that, but you can get pens and color them with, uh, draw them, I should say. You can draw them with a pen. Draw your designs. I, I haven't done that, but you can different cups gears so yeah so let's put this back on here carefully so we don't tangle them because they will tangle because they're so delicate right let's get these little cups on here and i'm just trying to be careful to lay them carefully so they don't get in a big wad but this is one of my favorites right here. And then they always have sales. Yeah, I was going to get to the sale part. Then they'll have sales all the time. 50% off all designs, Christmas and holidays. You know, they always have different holidays or they'll do themes. Get on their email list. They'll email you. They have free designs all the time. And um, free cut. They're called cut files. I shouldn't say, well, maybe they call them designs. So there's those, and let's see what's inside this folder here. I think that's more of the same. And see, it, you can also file them in folders and put pieces of paper, like here. See, I have a piece of paper between the, the designs. Here's a giant leaf. Let me show you that one. So if you want to keep them in file folders and you don't want them to get tangled, just put a piece of cardstock or paper between them. So that they don't get messed up. What's in here? Do I have... Oh, here's some little robots. What else is in here? Some other kinds of coffee cups. Again, another one of those little birds. I have all kinds of... Oh, this one's cute. Look at this one. Look at this lawn chair. <laughs> the vintage lawn chair. Okay, so let's... Okay, here's some wings. I didn't mean for this to turn into a cameo show, but it's kind of a what's in my studio show. <laughs> here's some wings. Hey, Melody. Um, and you, the other thing too about these guys, not only can you make them bigger or smaller, you can, um, you can change the perspective. Like you could make these fatter wings, thinner, 
you can just you can manipulate the design in your software just like you could in a in Photoshop it's the same kind of principle but you're just manipulating your designs to be cut rather than to be you know put on you know a, in a, a print here's some um, this was a design I turned these into bookmarks these were borders and I thought these would be really pretty to put on like here on this blue cardstock or this purpley cardstock. Cut this out and laminate it and look how pretty of a bookmark that would be. Are you writing down your Id these ideas, um, Rebecca, in your idea folder, in your idea notebook? <laughs> or at least on a post-it note. Write these ideas down. Um, so anyway, you could cut this out. And you know, attach it. Just you know, glue this to the cardstock and laminate this. And look how pretty of a bookmark would that be? Jen, reading with pugs. You can put tassels on it and make beautiful bookmarks with these things, with these different cuts. And again, they're reversible if you print them out on white. So I have a bunch of those. Don't forget to keep the negative space for stencils. What else is in here? I think this is just a bunch more of the bookmarks and wings. And I just keep them, uh, keep them in folders um, divided by, divided by uh, paper or in some cases in the sleeves. I think I ran out of sleeves so I started putting them in the folders. What other folders do I Okay, Here's a bunch. Let's see. Let me see if I can. Let's move this here. Let's move this over here. I know, right? Write the ideas down. So in this folder is different things we've painted. Again, I have pulled out a few things. We're going to smack and drag these. I'm not going to print. I mean, I'm not going to cut anything today. I really just kind of showing you all the different things you can do. This one was kind of falling apart. My little dainty feather. That one's cut out of a uh, scrapbook paper but I have many here that are smack and drag or let me get a piece of, or uh, jelly plate it so you can jelly plate these uh, here's another big leaf some of them I printed really big and some are really small here's a rose this one was jelly printed I don't know what all I have in here. Got, I see some glitter. You can draw on them. Uh, here's another glitter. This one's kind of falling apart. I keep some of these for samples and then I get them. I don't take care of my samples. Here's a, a glittered feather here. Oops. There's um, So this one was jelly plated with black and white and gray and then glitter on the tips of the feathers and I got a, here's a blue one here's half of it the other one's the other half is stuck in there but there's half a feather silver black and um, turquoise glitter so there's just all kinds of things in here which I really should be more careful with that one's paint what else Here's some more. Um, here's a butterfly that was jelly plated. What's a jelly plate? It is. I don't know if I can get at it. Let's see. Let me see if I can grab my. Oh, it, is. it is a gel like um, plate. And I'll take it out here in a minute, but I, things will stick to it if I take it out here. And what you do is you, you roll out paint. I have some videos. Jean, Music Scrap Jean, has a lot of videos on jelly plating. And you roll out the paint, and you can, you can put designs in there. You can make the paint marbly looking. All kinds of tips and tricks. and It's monoprinting is what it is. And you can roll out your paint and and get designs on there, and then and then put your uh, put your designs on there and put, peel it off, and you'll have a printed colored design. I'll show you this in a minute. 
so that you can kind of see here's another one this one's a pretty orange leaf something you buy <laughs> yeah no you uh you buy the jelly plate and a roller and a and acrylic paint <laughs> yeah you gotta buy you gotta buy everything <laughs> that's why we're all enablers okay here's a butterfly that was jelly plated <laughs> I haven't done jelly plating in a long time either here's a coffee cup so here's a coffee cup again it's a little bent and stuff because I'm not taking good care of my cuts here oh this is a pretty feather look at this one this was jelly plated So anyway, yeah, lots of stuff in here. I don't want to fold them. Let's see if I can stack them neatly. But I love my glitter feathers. Here's one with gold, black, and copper glitter. Okay, so there's that folder. Let's move to another folder. What's in this folder? More coffee. Oh, look, this here's my... Um, <laughs> percolator vintage percolator little coffee cup got a whole bunch of those and again this is why you got to be careful they, they'll they'll tangle because they're so delicate right you gotta you got to treat them kindly and again you can make these any size little like this or i can make a huge one yeah, glitter makes everything. And then I have a bunch of leftover um, negative spaces in here um, that you can use for stencils. So there's that. What else? I don't even, see, it's been a while since I've been in here. Oh, here's some Christmas cards I made one year. And uh, cut these out. And I put a red jewel, um, red jewels on the nose. Let's see. And see, look, here's one that's square. And here's one that's tall. So you can make them, you can manipulate the shape just by dragging it. You just grab it and drag it. And you can make them small, big, long, tall, any size you want. So here's some leftover negative space. Some butterflies that were smack and dragged. Ink through the ink. Oh, here's a giant typewriter. Love this one. Got a little bent. I'll turn it on the other side so you can see what it looks like white here. Giant typewriter. This is fun to do. Then you can take and um, like one of the feathers. Take a feather and make it like come out of the typewriter like this. Hey, Diana. Anybody else popping in? It's kind of an impromptu because my yesterday's video uh, part one did not upload, so we're redoing. Here's one, um, again, got a little bend because I'm not taking care of, I didn't take care of my world. My world got a little bend, but this one's got the paint on it. Oh, and then Silhouette Fairies, and there's all kinds of like, um, you know, Boo, my granddaughter's in uh, cheer competition cheer there's all kinds of cheerleading silhouette girls too i don't know if i have them in here but. and you can also keep them here's one in, in black so you can see there's one in black well you need to see that on a white paper like that um you can also keep this your smaller cuts in envelopes oh here's a big raven i love this one too let's put this one out this one i think got a little torn but you can see the the detail here here's another here's a crow uh cut out of scrapbook paper let's put that on there so you can see you can cut cut it out of scrapbook paper or you can just cut them in black and white and and color them you know uh smack and drag here's another big crow um on scrapbook paper on like ledger paper um, what else do I have in here oh here's a some delicate wings and oh here's a fox look at this one <laughs> love this little fox again they're they're gonna get messed up so I don't take good care of them in here 
That's why you need to put them in sleeves or folders because they will bend. They're, they're so delicate. But if you cut them out on a white or black or any one color, you can reverse them. Let's see. Here's a Christmas circle. And again, see these different sizes? You can cut them out in different sizes. Look at the little delicate little moose and trees and candy cane. A couple sizes of those. And my crow. Let's put my crow over here. Some more strips and leaves and banners. These make good bookmarks. All right, let's look in the next folder. <clears throat> All kinds of hearts with words <coughs> and just words in, in general. You can do all the uh, months of the year. You can do your um, tabs for your planners. And no, I don't work for a silhouette. No one's paying me. I'm just showing you some of the stuff. Um, here's where we did the jelly plating with the the feathers. And this was the neck. This is what was left over from the jelly plate after doing the feathers. And you peel the feathers off the jelly plate. And this was the result of the leftover. Just that in itself is very cool. Um, here's some more butterflies and leaves. Um, like here, Let's see, like this. And I got some little things here stuck in envelopes. Tiny butterflies here. Let me show you a couple little butterflies. Like this one. So you can keep them nice in your little envelopes. What's in this envelope? and folders. So these are what I have in my keep papers on them. This is what I have in the what would oh no it fell out. What would normally be a binder for stamps. Let's go this way. And I got a couple other large ones to show you over here that I keep in a box because they're really big. Let's see. So there's that. So again, you know, page protectors, a notebook, or and or whatever. So yeah. So then you can keep keep them between sheets of paper right so here's one of my big sugar skulls here's my Frankenstein and bride of Frankenstein I cut out a lot of the Halloween in black silhouette because it just looks cool you know for Halloween and again they're reversible what else do I have in here Oops, sorry, I got caught. Oh, here's a big mummy. Here's here's a sugar skull in white. And again, you can drag. I think I'll use this one and drag it through the ink, um, just so you can see. So let's see how cool they are. So you can do them in black and white or white and black. Here's another giant mummy. <laughs> what else do I have here? Um, here's one of the. Here's the witch's legs. And again, this is large, but you can cut them out tiny. And you want to keep them, you want to keep paper between them because they are so delicate. Here's different spider webs. Here's the another one of the haunted house. Um, what was this one? Oh, wait, this is the, uh, there's the skelly, there's a skelly head. See the little, de look at the delicate spider legs. Spider webs, what else do I have in here? I've got a stack of these. 
Um, yeah, these are all a whole bunch of these. I got a whole stack of those. Some more little uh, spider webs. What else? Oh, and then here's a whole skeleton. <laughs> the kids love this one. They love uh, the skeleton because it's all in different pieces. You have to put them together. <laughs> uh, all the bones and yeah, here's the pelvis. <laughs> the feet. The hands. <laughs> Those are the feet here. Here's the hands. Here's the more leg bones, arm bones, connected to the whatever bone. <laughs> so I got all these different bones and parts. There's a hand. Anyway. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Diane. I didn't know it was your birthday. Happy birthday. So there's a bunch of skeletons. I'm trying not to let the fan blow anything away. Oh, this one, Jean, does, I think this was, Jean, is this, well, she's not here, I don't think. I think this is actually Jean's uh, design. Jean actually designed this one. The hands, the reaching up hands. And you could use it as a negative space, too. I have the negative space here. But, yeah, Jean, um, Jean designed this. Jean has a whole bunch. She sells her cut files. She doesn't sell the stencils. But she sells the cut files for you to cut them out yourself. So this is one of Jean's designs, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I got some more bones. <laughs> so what else is in here? Feathers, more feathers more worlds let's see another one of my big worlds here let's see the globe oh not yet it's august oh okay <laughs> yeah i have a yeah i do that too okay let's see let's not you gotta be careful how you stack them because they will get tangled what's this one? Oh, this was a whole sheet um life home love and so like something like this you can use and you can make this small you can make it like little but you can use make them big like this and use them on scrapbook paper uh, pages or whatever here is a giant um what was this one is this a giant oh that's a flower stencil i don't know so what you can do also is cut them out dandelion i think Oh, sunflower maybe. Anyway, and you, and make your own cut cut them huge, like the skeleton, the mummy. Make them big, and then you have stencils, right? Here's another sugar skull. Two different kinds. Here's the giant skelly head. I mean, um, big. And I've cut it out in black. And here it is cut out in white. Um, let's see. Then I think I just got some paper. Let's see if there's anything in between. This is just paper that I cut. Okay, so there's just paper for me to use. So anyway, there's some designs. Here's my paper. And I got other things over here too. Let's see what's this. What is this? Ah, Here's where I've kept negative spaces. I have a whole box full of the negative spaces to use for stencils or and or stencils. Where's a piece of brown paper? Let me get one of those out here. So you can see that when you cut out, you can keep the negative space for stencils. Small size. So look, here's the difference in sizes. You can go from this to this. It's all it all cuts the same just you can cut them in different sizes there's some feathers and you can see I've used these for stencils a whole sheet of butterflies use some spray inks uh, more and I don't keep every one because if I cut out hundreds of these birds I don't need ten of these <laughs> you know uh, no, they're from the sil Cameo Silhouette, Connie. Here's a where I use some clouds and a bird stencil. So these are here's some wings. So these are the leftovers. 
the negative space uh, from cutting, doing the die cuts. So, and Rebecca, the, the reason I'm doing all this is Rebecca just got her one and she was talking about it. So I pulled these out to show her some of the things. Sorry guys, I keep catching my camera cord right there. Um, some of the things that you can do with your cameo and the negative space. Here's some leaves. Um, and then again, here's a piece of scrapbook paper where I cut the leaves out of leaf paper. But look how pretty just that looks. The, the negative, the leftover scrapbook paper on top of another paper. With the cameo silhouette. It's a big machine. It's a machine. I'm not going to pull it out right now. I, it's, it's, yeah, I, I'm not going to pull that out now. I'm just showing you some of the things. I have some videos. Look in my playlist. I have some videos on it. They're usually the ones where I do my face-to-face -face with you guys because seeing something getting cut is really boring. So that's when I do my face-to-face -face with you guys is when I'm, like, using the cameo or something so I can talk face-to-face. -face. Um... Here's some deer. And again, see, you can change the sizes. A whole bunch of deer. I got a bunch of, I must have made a card or something with those. Coffee cups, gears. Here's a big leaf, one giant leaf. What else? Some, just some paper. I should put these papers with paper here's another here's another globe I love my globe everybody loves the globe <laughs> some could be used on coloring backgrounds I've used stencils melody for backgrounds uh, you know usually color book pages are really busy as it is but sometimes you can use you could use some of this for a stencil in a background I showed how to do that one day. Um, feathers. What's all this? See, here's some more leaves. These are all cut out. So you got your you got your leaf, but then you also have these negative spaces for stencils. Giant flowers. More leaves. Uh, arrows. Again, let's take this off here. I cut out all these arrows to use, but now I have a stencil at the same time. Uh, here's another giant typewriter. Tons. See, I look at them all here. I got more globes and oh, this one is the. You can also cut out all the states. Uh, Georgia. I got. I don't remember what states. I cut out a bunch of states for people one day. Alabama, Georgia. I don't remember what all's in here. Um, Zentangle, Zentangle, again, stencils both uh, positive and negative, some more globes, another butterfly, what's this one, oh, a giant rose, roses, three roses, some uh, more Halloween stuff. Spider webs, crows, and the haunted house. What else? Oh, we got a mermaid here. We'll we'll uh, we'll uh, do her through the uh, ink. I'm going to <laughs> bless her little tail. Um, we're gonna smack and drag, or we're gonna drag some of these through some ink. So I'm just kind of pulling some out. There's some fences. This one got torn. Here's here it is here. Here's where we did a purple spider web. What's all in here? Oh, here's some more of the skellies. Um, little tiny. Look how tiny you can get words. Here's the uh, days of the week. Look how tiny. See and delicate. Oh, what else? What else is in here, Rebecca? Got Star David. You can, I mean, there's just, there's all kinds of religion, religious icons. 
Here is a menorah. Cam had to. Cam was doing a project for school, and uh, he needed a menorah. So, of course, I have to cut more than one of everything. What else is in here? Oh, here's a giant peacock. This one's really cool. It needs to be seen on white. So, this is in multiple parts. This is part of a. There's a Halloween banner. Here's the peacock feathers. And then here's the peacock itself. So it's big, you know, like this. So it's a two part like that. Hey, Grammy, isn't that cool, guys? Here's a giant tree bark. What else is in here? And then a whole bunch more negative space. I mean, I've got just tons and tons of the, you know, leftovers. This this whole thing right here is either something really big or leftovers. Here's some cut out. Here's some crows cut out. This is, remember where I cut some of these out of the, this is, uh, I think it's a Tim Holtz paper. So all these crows were cut out of this paper. So just to show you that you can cut out of all this scrapbook paper. Um, what else? More deers, birds, coffee cups, frogs, gears, more skellies. Here's some fright cats, or all different cats. Have those cats. More feathers, words, leaves, more birds, another menorah. So, yeah. So, I have a whole box of just these larger things like this. But, again, you want to be careful with them because they will get tangly and bent if you're not careful. <clears throat> okay. So, here's my map. I think I already went through all the, this down here. So, let's just stack this up. And I have this giant rubber band to hold it all in. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So, let's move that out of the way. I'll have to put that back neatly. <clears throat> all right so now i was going to show you the jelly plate i'm not going to work on it but i'll just show you because somebody asked what's the jelly plate so it's a way to do mono printing and it's a jelly thing it's like and, it, and it's covered with plastic on both sides you, it's reversible you can use it on either side it does get stained and dirty where's a piece of white paper So you can see mine's quite used and see it's like a jelly and you roll out acrylic paint on it and then you can print and there's multiple techniques and multiple things you can do with it you're welcome Rebecca so that's what it is it's just a big piece of like I don't know if it's silicone or what it is but it's, it's very jelly-like. It's not sticky. It doesn't leave a residue. Now, the paint will. <laughs> You'll get messy with the paint. Uh, but you want to keep it in your in the container it came in. So that's what a jelly... That's Someone just wanted to see what it was. All right, so real quick now, I'm going to... I need a craft mat or something. Let's see. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. Let's see here, guys. What if I could just do... Hmm, I'm trying to see what I want to work on. Because my black craft mat... My black craft mat's not going to show color. I have my pink one. Got to make some room, though, because it's a humongous thing. I forgot what I... Janet, are you still here? What did I do the magicals on last time? What did I work the magicals on? Was it a craft mat? What did I do the magicals on? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Hmm. Was 
at the craft, my purple craft mat. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. I just, I'm, this Today's show is making up for yesterday's that would not upload. Well, I should say part one didn't upload and part two was connected to what I showed in part one. So I didn't have anything to upload yesterday. So I just thought, well, I'll just do another show today. Might as well. No one's streaming this early. Jean did mention she might stream later today. But, yeah, I don't even know if Jean's awake. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't remember what I did the magical song. Hang on. Maybe just a piece of, I know what, I'll just get a, um, a uh, sleeve. Let me just get a plastic sleeve. Hang on, this will work. We're going to improvise. Here's a plastic sleeve, I mean a uh, page protector. Uh-oh, I want to lose all my got to be careful of my cameo cutouts because everything is slick with the sleeves. There we go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a page protector and put a piece of cardstock in it so it's white. That'll work, I think. Maybe. We're going to try. So I'm just going to put a piece of cardstock in a page protector and make my own little craft mat. There we go. <laughs> now we have a, a plastic thing to work on. Alright, so I want to get some blue and green. I'll just use a couple colors of like blue and green magicals because I'm going to do like the mermaid and a couple other things. So let's get my spray bottle and a little bit of magicals so let's just go for it here all right so again this is a powder and the difference between the magicals and your other powders that um, you wet and use is these when they dry when they completely dissolve and dry they're not uh, they're permanent so as compared to some of the other um, like Lindsay, and this made by Lindsay Stamp Gang, but some of the other Lindsay Stamp Gang, they're not, uh, they'll reactivate with water. Okay, so I want to get the blue, and they don't look the color, look, like that's this color. And then the green here, this is Luscious Lime. It looks kind of yellow. There's the color. So I'm just going to get a little, where's my chopstick? This is how I use my magicals. <laughs> if I can find my chopstick. Where'd it go? Huh. I can't don't know what happened to my chopstick. Give me another one. Okay. Anyway. I got another one just to pull things out of. You can use a little scoop. I have a little spoon or a little scooper or whatever, you know, whatever craft item you have. So I'm just going to, uh, should I, I wonder if I should wet it first or let's just put some out. Just going to put some of the, and, it, and you, it doesn't need much. It's less than you think. So I'm just going to put that much out. i got a fan blowing on me. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some of the blue. Like this. And that's probably plenty. Now we're going to spray it with some water. Slowly at first so I don't blow it all over the place. Okay. And this is just on a page protector with a piece of white card stock in there. All right, so let's start with our mermaid. So, and we'll see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna plop her down, kind of do a little bit of a drag. There we go. So we're gonna do like, kind of like a smack and drag, but on a mini version. And now I need to put her on something. Here, let's get this piece of paper here. All right, wait for it, wait for it. <sighs> Bam! <laughs> uh, 
Now we'll let her dry. And we can always add some more, but look how pretty that is. Could probably use a little bit more here. Let's see if I can pick her. She's kind of unwieldy because she's kind of big. Let's put a little more there. There we go. That's the ticket. So there's our mermaid dipped in magical. Our magical mermaid! <laughs> Isn't she purdy? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> All right. So, and I'm making a mess on my calendar here. I should probably put some more papers behind here. Let's see. All right. So now let's try our big sugar skull. Let me move her off this white paper because that's where I'm gonna plop everything down. Because this is just paper, guys, and I probably don't need to be in a white shirt. Let me pull my sleeves up. Alright, so now we're going to use the um, sugar skull here. Let's see what we can do. To get the blue and the green. I'll try to get every area. I think I need just one more little tiny bit of water. So, I missed a couple spots, but here we go. It's, I don't know if you can tell how vibrant that is because of the white paper, but it needs a little bit more on the top here. So, yeah. And now the colors, the two colors, the blue and green, are starting to combine because I've been dragging things through it. So, yeah, it probably look better on black paper, actually, but. All right. Um, I don't want to waste this. Let me just get a little bit of something out of this. Let's do this little, let's do a couple of these little feathers. Got a couple little feathers here. Let's just do those. And then I'm going to clean this off and put another. I've only got a few things out. All right, let me clean this up. Hang on, let me get a baby wipe. Oh, I got bones and bats on the floor. Here's one of the bats that I cut out. <laughs> and another bone here. Let's put that back over here. All right, so let's clean this off and see if we can get some. And this kind of is a waste. I hate to waste all this. But I'm working on just a page protector. <laughs> I'm just working on a page protector here, not a craft mat. Because I wanted to show up. My craft mat's black. And uh, you won't see the color. So let's clean this off and let's do a couple different colors. Not cool? <laughs> yeah, so there you go, Rebecca. And it doesn't have to be magicals, guys. It can be, all right, instead of doing the magicals, let's go ahead. Well, I kind of want to do the magicals. You can do the dilution sprays. You can do your dilution sprays. Um, all right, so let's go with, I still like that turquoise, but let's go with, like, maybe a magenta. Let's go with the turquoise and magenta colors. Going to enable you again. <laughs> Alright, so here's a little bit of the. Don't need much, I'm telling you, don't need much. So we'll put a little bit of the blue, which is uh, Caribbean blue. And then this is um, Poppin' Pink. So let's see what Poppin' Pink does. So I'm just barely putting out any. And then when I hit it with the water, you see how far it goes. <coughs> okay. Now, I'm not going to go shh to make a big old, you know, big old, make a big spray. I'm going to do it gently so it doesn't go all over the place. I want to keep it like right here. There. See? Now, I got a little go with the flow whale here. Let's do him. Let's put them on a piece of paper here so you can see them. Move the... If 
if he's on black, you would see the go with the flow. I should get a piece of black. There's a piece of black paper. Ugh. Let me dig here a minute, find a piece of black paper. Probably show up better. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There we go. Isn't that cool? Let's go look at our mermaid again on black. Let's put the mermaid on black. And see how I kept it kind of rough looking so it looks like she's in water? Isn't that cool, guys? All right. Let's see what I got. A few things. I didn't pull too many things out, so I've only got a couple here. Got one of these little Zentangle birds. So let's dip him. And they're just so bright. They're they're bright and vibrant like the Dilutions paint. I mean the Dilution sprays. So there's the little Zen Doodle bird. Okay, now we got a, just a plain bird here. Let's see what we can get out of what's left on here they're just so vibrant I'm trying to get as much as I can there we go see isn't that cool and then let's do a couple of these little feathers that are left so you can just dip to your heart's content. Now, it doesn't come off your fingers easy. You, need, you probably need a craft scrubby or you're going to be getting out the nail polish remover. Because <laughs> it is, it is, uh, need a little bit more water here. I'll show you these little feathers. There we go. So there we go. Is that cool? Yeah. So we got all this. I think I'm going to send all these to you, Rebecca. To, to uh, congratulate you on your new cameo silhouette. I think I'm going to have to do something for Xandra with this one. We'll have to do something with the, uh, or just send it to her and she can use it for something. But yeah, so the mermaid, I'll have to go to Xander. It's a little flashed out, guys. It's a little bit darker than it looks. There we go. There's more of the color right there. But I'll send these to you, Rebecca. If Rebecca's still here. And uh, yeah. You like them all? I know. Isn't it cool? So again, this is, uh, let's see if we can, this, this got a little too green because I, you know, the color. Let's see if we can get some of this blue and some of this magenta on here too. Let's just make it a little more, use this up and see if we can get a little bit more color on here. I don't know. Not much. There's not much left. So yeah, our little sugar skull. Let me clean this off. Baby white. And that kind of lets you see some of the ideas you can do with your cutouts. Of course, it doesn't have to be, you don't even have to have a cameo to do this. Look, I'll show you something else we'll do with it. So there's the sugar skull. Like that. But look. Let's just, just so you know that you can do this with, uh, you know, your magicals with other things. Let's take this piece of paper here. Where's the scissors? Where's my Timmy scissors? Let's just cut out. You can, you know, and you can use your stencils and cut this out neat. I mean, you know, let's just play here for a minute. Make some funky hearts. And you can do this with your any any shape. Right? I'm just gonna cut out some 
parts here. Just so if you have your spray inks or your magicals or whatever, you can see you can do. And remember, we made our own craft mat too. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go with some nice red and some indigo blue color. Let's see what these are. So this one is called Queen of Hearts Red and this is called Tweedledee Denim. All right, so we're going to put out these. And again, you don't need much. So use your shapes, whether you die cut them or cut them yourself. Okay, here's the... Denim. Now we're going to gently spray. I'm just spraying gently, not squirting it everywhere. <laughs> right? Because they'll mix when you tap and drag. So now let's do a little bit of... I should have used cardstock. I just use paper, but... Whatever. Let's move this right here so we can lay them out. Like, almost like 4th of July hearts. Keep. I'm trying to keep a little bit of the uh, white paper because it just kind of looks cool. Again, I'm using copy paper. Should have just at least gone with the cardstock, right? But... It's going to look cool when they un when they stop curdling. That one needs a little more. And I want to show you something else you can do, too, with your magical or, or sprays or whatever. Uh, I just want to show you you can also use up the rest of it and then cut them after the fact. Okay, so let me just put these out here. Oop, the fan is blowing, guys. I got a fan right next to me, which is probably not the smart thing to do while you're doing this. Okay, so. But now you got some little hearts to use in your art journal or your uh, planners or whatever. Okay, the other option is let's just spray it a little bit more. Now, let me get. Um, Let's go ahead and just get a piece of cardstock. This oh no, really I want paper because that's better to use in a journal. It's thinner. Do I have a piece of copy paper in here? Uh, no, I do. I just gotta think of where it is. Let me just let me just pull something out of a notebook here. Just a sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a sheet of paper, and now what we're gonna do is this. We're going to use the rest of this up and might just drag it just a little just to fill your whole use it up then what you can do is instead of starting with the little hearts okay now let me get another baby wipe and clean this up clean this off of my craft mat. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna move this. Just don't put it on the iPad. Okay, let's come over here now. I'm gonna dry this. Oh, I pulled two sheets. Okay, let's hit this with the heat gun. We're not wasting that leftover magicals. Now, let me get my big scissors. Ugh. All right, so now I'm going to just cut this into like three strips here. And just stack them up because it's thin paper, so we can do this. And now I'm just going to cut some hearts out of the paper itself. And again, this could be any shape, guys. I'm just doing this for a little demo here. 
So here's the ones that we just drug through after we'd already you know, cut them first and then put them in the magicals. And then here's the leftover piece of paper that we just stuck in the magicals and cut. Let's fix that one a little. So let's put this on black paper. So yeah, what do y'all think? Dry these for Rebecca. Put those in an envelope. So yeah. So here's some of our magical hearts. I hope you put this in your idea folders. <laughs> Your idea society of idea collectors. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch more here. So, yeah. Yeah, aren't they pretty? And then when you dry, then you can also doodle on top of them. Like, let's see. Let's take one that's kind of got more color. Let's hit this with the heat gun. Right, front and back. Now let's take a white gel pen. And you could do this with your glitter pens too. Let's move that. Let's get a or your um what do you call it? Uh you know, Posca pens. Let me get one hand that's working. And do some little designs. I like little triangles because it reminds me of kimonos, kimonos, you know, the Japanese clothes, kimono clothes. And you can do little, if you're a zentangler, you know, you could zentangle. Dots, squares, I just happen to like triangles. Design your own little cutouts. And again, you could do this, you know, with any spray ink. We could go around the edge, some squiggly lines, kind of make it kind of sketchy looking it's a little damp still so you can just play So there we go. There's some ideas from our magicals and our cameo and our cutouts. Somebody moving? I just saw May said something about culture shock or somebody said something about culture shock. Who's moving? Just saw you there. Yeah, my pen. This is still damp. You want to make sure this is perfectly dry. You don't want to ruin your pen. So who's moving? I missed it. Oh, okay. I thought somebody was moving. 
Okay, so there you go. Just a little, you know, little little funky design or something to play. But just so you can see all the little hearts. Just using the little magicals. I mean, you can layer these up. You can put them on black paper here. Like, if let's just say we had these three. Let's do three different sizes. Maybe these three here. Take, like, three on a piece of black paper. Bye, Kenny. Thanks for stopping in. That's not going to show up very well. I need it thicker. Let's go with the Posca so it shows up on camera because I can't even hardly see it on camera. Let's get one that works. Oh, that's not the work one that was working. Oh. This one's not working. I pulled up two that aren't working. Maybe it's just not showing up on this on this paper. You're welcome. So anyway, you can do well, put it on black paper, or you could even um, make a little uh, like edge. Oh, fans blowing everything around. Let's do this. smaller scissors. Make a little border. Too choppy when you smooth. Make a little heart outline with the black. And now, now I see why it's not the pen wasn't working on here. This is wet on the back. The black paper's wet. So do this. Offset it. Like that. With a little shadow. Anyway, there's all kinds of little things you can play with your shapes. <clears throat> so any questions or anything guys or anything else y'all got any ideas with this with the magicals or the sprays or the well I guess I'll let y'all go unless y'all something else y'all want to do like I said, Jean said something yesterday <clears throat> about streaming today. So I, you know, I'm assuming that's later in the afternoon. Thanks everybody for popping in for an unannounced impromptu stream. Because again, if you're just joining us, um, yesterday I did two shows. Uh, part one and part two. And part two was dependent on showing part one. Part one would not upload. So I didn't upload part two either because part one didn't upload. Part two uploaded fine, but, eh, you know, they're connected. So I didn't put either one up on YouTube. So they're on Ustream if y'all want to go over to Ustream and see part one and two. But they're not uploaded to, um, they're not on uh, YouTube. So, you're welcome, guys. Anything else going on? that y'all want to announce or anything? I don't know who all's here, because well, let me check my chat list. Hey, Sunset Carol. And Jelly... Oh, yeah. Oh, you're all good, Rebecca. I'm glad. I'm glad you told us that you got a cameo so I could send you some stuff and show you some stuff. I know I'm missing some people. Hey, Sherry. Sherry, and I'm sure there's some other people. Hey, Jamie, APG Jamie. Hey, BDI Beth. <laughs> I love that name. Upster loves that name, too. He loves the name BDI Beth. He thinks that's hilarious. Um, I know I probably missed a whole bunch of you guys coming in. Happy Ray. Who else is here? I try to uh, say hi as I see you talk, but some people don't talk that much. Lori, Lindair. 
Miss Q. Who else? I said hi. Hey, Packer Die. Sandy with a P. Snaps. Good to see a lot of y'all that I haven't seen in a while. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll head out. Look on, watch Twitter for other streamers today. I don't know who else is going to stream. Some people have been canceling because of other obligations, and other people are filling in. So, uh, you know, if uh, if you kind of want to know who's streaming and everything, it's probably best if you um, are on Twitter. Janet's going to stream? I saw somebody say Janet, so I don't know. Judy Patootie, yeah, right, you're the quiet one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw yesterday Jean said sometime on Tuesday. <clears throat> oh, good, Sandy. Good to, good to see you. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping in, and we'll see you later. Bye.